It was great. I mean, it was it was sad, but the way they put the the whole thing together, it was really a great piece of work. I was thinking about the choices that the man was making with his life. I mean, he was sounding so positive the way he was speaking, but for some reason he couldn't get it together, and I couldn't understand why. And I was wondering what was what was what brought him to the point where he wound up back in prison. What was he thinking? How? Why wasn't it work, all the things that he wanted to do for and it's like why wasn't it working for him? That's what I was thinking. And you know, once you see um, him relapse, you I mean you I don't know, you get passionate with it because you, you don't think you don't want that to happen. You 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 pray that it's gonna work out good for him and it doesn't and you get disappointed. It's like just somebody that you that like you personally know it was happening to. It seemed like it was somebody you actually knew it happening to happened to them, but so you get involved. You know, you get involved with what you're watching. I thought the film was very insightful about um, addiction and imprisonment. I thought that it depicted that um, imprisonment is not the answer to um, recovery. Just because you're not active in your addiction doesn't mean that your addiction has gone away from you. I think it even gives the impression that it's even more harder to fight against picking up once you have spent so much time away from it in a safe environment, so to speak, because even in prison you can use drugs, but maybe not on a regular basis like you might be used to as an addict. So once you get back out there and you have access to it, that it overwhelms you and you become submissive to it and you allow yourself to put all of your goals and dreams for yourself aside and you, you follow your cravings and you give in to what it is that you desire, which is to get high. As an addict myself, I feel that um, it is hard not to give in to your past. It is hard to forgive yourself and allow yourself to move on from things that you might have done in your past when you were using. Um, it's not a good thing to be cocky in recovery. You have to be humble at all times and you have to remind yourself that um, it's one step at a time, one day at a time, one minute at a time. And um, nothing that you can gain in life can ever give you back what you lost but it can give you a sense of self and have you renew your feelings for wanting to stay clean. I saw a lot of myself in Omar, you know, um, and I was just like able to identify with Omar because I too have relapsed as a result of um, denial. I've been there, you know, I've been there. And to see um, an individual set themselves up it's something, you know what I mean, um, when you're in recovery for, for, um, for a period of time, you can see when an individual is heading for a relapse. You can hear in their conversation when they're in relapse mode. Addiction, it's powerful, it's cunning, and um, in reality, it doesn't, it doesn't discriminate. It has no respect to person, you know what I mean? Today you're here, tomorrow you could be using, and in doing that, you can be on top of the world and be down on the Bowery in a matter of time. It's something, in my opinion, that um, I think people should really, really take take heed to, to sit up to understand the struggles that people that go through everyday um, addiction, active addiction, that they struggle with. I felt that the film was very uh, enlightening. Um, I know about recovery because I am a recovering addict. But um, I was reminded in the film how important it is to ask for help, uh, which is very important. Um, I never saw Omar use his supportive network. Um, I think that's really so crucial to his life, you know. And um, something so easy as saying, I think I want to get high, um, I'm in trouble, um, I'm scared, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to live outside of being in jail. Uh, it might sound really simple, but it's it can be hard to do. And that can be the difference between life and death. And I really, I'm so glad that I went to see the movie because I haven't been to a meeting in a long time. And um, I am a member of NA and um, I've been sober for two years now. And my life is so much better than it used to be. And I'm really grateful, very grateful. I thought it was a great film. I thought um, it really, you know, showed people what, how difficult it is when people do get out of prison and when they are addicts, 
how difficult it is to start your life again and how much support you really do need and how difficult it is to ask for help. A lot of kids right now are doing drugs, not going to school or going in and out of juvie. So it's good to show them this film because it's good to see how, how Omar is when he doing all those drugs and going in and out of jail, going being in jail for 30 years, not seeing life. And it's good for them to see that film because they'll see that if they ever end up in jail like that. They don't want to be like that, coming out of jail, not knowing what to do with your life and just going back to the same thing. So that's why I think the movie's good for people out there. I have experience with the system. Uh, in fact, I've been in the federal prison system for 10 and a half years, and I just came out June 6th. Um, and I'm trying to get back on my feet. Uh, I uh, can identify with a lot of things that Omar and Pete have gone through um, and that they're probably going through uh, now. Uh, and it's a scary feeling coming out into, into the free world after being locked up so many years. When you're on the inside, you're not taught how to deal with uh, many situations that you encounter once you come out. You're taught to suppress your feelings, your emotions, uh, your fears. And the closer I, I, I came to uh, being released, the more afraid I felt on the inside of going out into the real world. Um, I felt this fear because I didn't know what to expect. Um, I didn't know how I was going to make it out here. Uh, and I still don't know. I'm, I'm struggling from day to day. If you have a good support system, networking, programs, aftercare, groups, meetings, NA, AA, it doesn't matter. You can make it do it, no matter how hard times can be for you, because I've been there, you can do it. If you have at least two or three people that you can call when you're going through things, or anybody, I think anybody can make it do active addiction with a support group. I don't think that no one can make it alone. I thought the screening was wonderful. The film is powerful, yes. sad, poignant, inspiring, and um, the young people really responded to it, and I think they did a great job facilitating the event and making it a really meaningful experience for everybody who came today. In the audience, I heard a lot of, um, a lot of response from the audience, spontaneously people responding and basically saying that this spoke to their experience and that it was very real, that while it's not always happy, um, it showed struggle in a three-dimensional way, that, uh, that when the truth, when people put out the truth, um, that is more inspiring than just a happy story.